Here we are again out in the garage tonight, pretty much where I live in the evenings it seems like. I um, want to get started on another project. I've got the new to me aluminum 5.3 Gen 4 block and starting to already get the pieces in place to figure out what our next steps are. Uh, the first thing that I want to do before anything else is get this block set up like the one before with the half inch head studs. Um, you're seeing this more and more and more on people running the stock block setup. I um, can't recall what a lot of the aftermarket's uh, size are, but either way, I've picked up last year, the start of this year, it's probably last year, uh, the Tick Performance billet plate that sits on top. I'll show you that here in a minute. But essentially it's a plate, sits on top of the block fixture, and lets you drill the stock block out for half inch studs. Um, you know, this provides a better clamping force on the heads, keep those head gaskets down. Um, of course, obviously your tune always has everything to do with it. Uh, it doesn't matter how much clamping force you have if you don't have a good tune to go with it. So. With that, let me show you the fixture, the block, some of the tools we'll be using, and then we'll go ahead and get started on the process. So here's a look at the tick plate, the fixture. Um, you kind of see how it uh, has all these various holes it sits on top of the block and then allows you to drill out the holes comes with a couple different bits um, a re-threading tool all of these pieces here are used to center the, the um, plate itself I've got a couple factory bolts here that we'll use to tighten that down uh, air hose drill some uh, thread cutting oil um, just a way to clean out the block so the blocks here now on the stand and I'll go ahead and get this set up and then kind of show you guys walk through how this works okay so the first step is to go ahead and put these dowels that came with the kit on the head and then we'll go ahead and install the fixture itself you can see I've got the first one in here they just sit down here in the bottom corners the second one is missing oh, here we go so we'll put the second one in here and all this does is just help locate the fixture on the block itself so we'll pick up the fixture and go ahead and set it on here and one thing you might notice is uh, these extra four holes at the bottom so obviously this is a stock block and this is also set up to do a six bolt block so um, I think I'm going to rotate the motor a little bit so that's not hanging off there and then we'll go ahead and get the stock bolts put in there just to make sure this thing's tightened down so we'll do that next we have these centering pieces here you can see for those so what I'm going to do is We'll go ahead and put them two in the center and two on the outside to start with. They just slide right in place. Take four stock bolts, drop these in. And I already cleaned the holes out. Um, just hit them with some air to start with. We'll be cleaning them out multiple times as we go along. 15 millimeter socket. These don't need to be torqued down or anything. Just enough to make sure the plate's solid where it is. So like I said, we'll go ahead and start on the first two pieces here. Step one is going to be just opening the hole up. So we have um, the bit for that here. Get the jig in there. Get the bit done. Clean that out. And then we'll go ahead and, and tap these. So we'll start on that.
Okay, so at this point, I actually moved the bolts down and I've already done the first step uh, on four of these, but I'll go ahead and walk through it for these last two over here. So the first thing you need to do is measure both the depth of the entire hole and then also to the threads because we'll be making uh, two different drill points and then of course putting new threads in there. So the first step is to drill out the old thread. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, to do that, I actually have this stopper that goes on the drill bit. So I measured and then taking that measurement here. So we'll go ahead and put the um, piece that sits in here to make sure this is a straight drill. And then we'll go ahead and drill that out on both of those. So there's the piece, as you can see, it just sits in here. And unlike these, it's set up for the drill bit, which is a 27 64th bit. It's always fun to say. Let's tighten this down, lock this in place. We already hit these with air, but we'll do it one more time because we've done a few of them. So Should be a little bit of chips in there. Throw a little cutting. It always grabs kind of hard on the first one and then it and then it goes. So this just fits in here and recommend going for it. And it's pretty smooth. There's not much to it. Get this out and get these chips out of here. I'll typically go through and do a second run just to make sure we got it. Hit this one more time. Nice and smooth. So at this point we'll take this out, lock out. Chips get everywhere, so blow these out one more time. And I'll tilt it upside down before we do the next step. That's pretty much the process for step one. I've seen some people go ahead and do the threads next, um, and other folks will open up the hole for the larger stud. Um, first, I don't think it really matters which way you do it. Um, we'll probably go ahead and just open up the bore and then in the final piece we'll chase the threads. So we'll do that next. Okay, so at this point, like I said, these six holes have been drilled all the way down, pull the old threads out. And now what we're gonna do is using uh, this larger bit uh, we will go ahead and open the holes up for the larger shoulder uh, on the on the studs. Um, you can kind of see here, it's, that's what's going on here. So uh, we've measured down into the hole as far to the threads, which you can kind of get an idea roughly there. Uh, we'll drill this out. You're probably wondering why this bit is so long. This kit works for the Gen 3 and Gen 4. On Gen 4, all of these studs are the same short length so we really don't need a bit this long but because this works with the gen 3 the other eight holes uh, outside of these corner ones are actually much longer so you need the longer bit um, but in this instance we're going to be able to do them all the same with this so we'll go ahead and start here and work our way across Okay, so that is the second step of those six holes. So for our last step here, we need to uh, tap the new threads. The guide won't fit over the threads, so you have to put this on first, and then I've got my T-handle here. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and slide that in there. Actually, let's put a little cutting oil on here. We'll set that down into the hole, place the guide. Go ahead and again, I, I like to use the locks, so. In there. Just snug it in place. That way I know this is all the way down. And from there, it's just a simple matter of cutting the new threads and we'll just feel it bottom out. This tap they give you is great. It pulls the threads up the way it's designed. I've only done Gen 3 aluminum block and now Gen 4 aluminum block, so both blocks that I've done are aluminum. So I can't say that both the bits and the tap just go right through the block right to the point, um, but I can't say for sure how good they are on the iron block, but I have to assume from what I've heard, seen, etc., that you just gotta work them a little more, but otherwise they work great. So we'll get this ran down, pull it back through, clean it out, and we can drop the stud in there because at some point we'll have to put studs in here, the larger studs that I have now, um, to hold the plate down so we can do the other four here. So once this bottoms out, which should be any second here, I would think. There we go. So there's bottom. And we'll reverse this out. I have a T-handle, I know some, some people have a socket, nice socket to put on there, which is probably maybe a little faster, I don't know. This obviously works, a bit of a process of course, but nonetheless, there's that. So it feels like we're out of the dredge now, so we'll take the T-handle off, unscrew this lock. And pull this out and see all the aluminum there. So we'll make sure to clean this off each time. Whole bunch of stuff in the block. I'm actually going to flip it over upside down to get this out. Make sure we get it all out of there. That's good. Rotate it back up. Move on us, and then we can test fit. Let me see. No, be all right. So again, these are the shorter studs, so they don't go in nearly as as far as the the Gen three much longer studs. Um, there we go. So we'll go ahead and do this for the remaining swap them out and finish the other four. So I'll catch you guys back when we finish the rest of these. Okay, so at this point, uh, you can now see we've got the half inch studs on all four corners, um, as well as the centers are done. Uh, if you recall, we had the four stock bolts in these four. So what I need to do now is redo the three-step process on these four, so again, we'll use the smaller bit to drill out the old threads, then we'll use the larger bit to drill out the bore, and then go in with the um, tap and set that up for those, and then this side will be done. At that point, uh, it's a matter of just flipping the block around and repeating the process on the other side until all, what is it, 20 holes are ready for half inch studs. So we'll get started on that. So at this point, the driver's side head, or the driver's side of the block is finished up. As you can see here, I've got four half inch studs uh, in the block holding the plate on. The other six here in the middle have been completed, bored out, re-threaded, etc. So I'll make sure to put those studs in, make sure everything's nice and happy, good, straight, plate goes on, etc. And then from there, I'll have to do obviously the other side. Uh, the aluminum block, 
it's pretty pretty easy. The soft metal I think makes things makes things nice. As I mentioned before, I haven't done an aluminum or an iron block, but the aluminum ones are pretty easy. The tools you get from Tick, you know, the drill bits, uh, the rethread makes it super easy, super nice. Um, highly recommend this if it's something you're thinking about. Of course, you know, you can um, take it somewhere and have that done, but this is the second one I've done and I think it's already paid for itself at that point. So um, if you guys have any questions about the process, you know, something I may have skipped over or something, you know, want reiterated, be sure to uh, ask in the comments and um, I'm really good about answering anything that gets put on there. So we'll do that. Uh, additionally, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Uh, we've got a lot of great stuff coming out, coming forward. Uh, this this block here now as soon as I get this done it's going to get some additional machine work and some new parts will be going into this thing so more on that um, if we haven't already released that the timing might be a little backwards but we'll see anyhow um, really excited as to the forward progress on this motor I'm hoping fingers crossed everything goes well that that hybrid will be back out and running here um, before the season's over so Got some exciting, exciting stuff coming. So, again, thanks a lot, and see you on the next one.